All right, we have our Thunderjaw trophy. Now, the the, sca the scarier part, the Stormbird trophy. Just out of curiosity, I, I doubt this will work, but I'm going to grab this heavy weapon and then I'm going to fast travel and I'm going to see if I can keep the heavy weapon. I'm going to see if I can keep the heavy weapon. Chances are probably not. No heavy weapon. <laughs> Feels bad. I didn't think that it, I didn't think it would work, but I had to try. All right. There's the bird. Let's see what we can learn about them. A uh, highly maneuverable flying machine with a wide array of shock-based air-to-ground attacks. It has its body is weak to nothing and is strong to shock. It's got blaze canisters on its flank. It's got engines on its wings, which will stop it being able to dive at me. It's got a freeze canister on its shoulder, and it's got a lightning gun, uh, which I might be able to use if I can if I can tear that off. All right. There is a Glint Hawk site near me, but I don't think Glint Hawks are going to do a whole lot to help me. Honestly, a Ravager would be like the ideal ally for this. Where's the big bird? <laughs> That's so far away. Wow, nice miss. I want to get that gun off of it, I think. I think that's going to be very important. This is scary. <laughs> Where is it? What is it doing?
Thank you. All right. Well, I'm overriding it, but I don't know what that's what that's going to do for me. <laughs> Because I doubt I can fly it. I wonder if I could, like, lure the, uh, lure the glint hawks over to fight it. Because the glint hawks are much weaker, but. They do a lot of like consistent damage. Party little plant. You'll help. I want to get the all of their attentions and then I'll go and try and lure them to the Stormbird. All right, I've got all their attentions now. Stormbird. Hey, want to protect me? My, my friend, you want to protect me? <laughs> my new friend, come save me. Why is the bird just staying way up there, out of the way? He really is just so high up here. I'm trying to blast that lightning gun off it. I don't even know if that's possible. Do I have... I have something that should shoot freeze arrows, right? Oh my god, it just dive bombed me and took me out. One of the nice things is that it doesn't seem like it has an insane amount of health. Like, it's a manageable amount of health. I just don't have ways of dealing enough damage. Like, there's just, those are snap maws. They don't have anything I can use. There is Ravager. Is that a Ravager? I don't know. Let's head there. That might be a, a weapon I can use on the, the bird. Let's not get the snap maws after us.
Ow. Come on. Let me override this guy in peace. Oh my god. This is stupid. I thought I had disarmed this one, but apparently not. And I doubt I can disarm it. Or can I? <gasps> I can after it's dead. <laughs> okay, I did learn that I can disarm a, uh, a gun from a dead Ravager, which is useful information. I think getting a Ravager cannon is probably my best realistic bet of taking down the Stormbird. <sighs> but I still have to go kill the Ravager and get away with its gun without using its ammo. And then I have to make it all the way up to where the Stormbird is. Ah, come on, you moved at the last second. There's the gun. Alright. Now we begin the trek. This might take a minute to move. Can I? I can't stealth while I'm holding this. Good, good to know. Let's do our best not to screw this up. See, I can't cross too early because then the glint hawks will come after me. But I also don't want the snap maws to get me. And I can't jump with this, so I can't, like, get too low. Alright, we made it. I really wish that I could save while I'm holding this. I'm going to quick save. I'm also going to manual save with this in my hands and see if I can actually like maintain this weapon so that if I die, I can reload and not have to go get it again. But I think my plan is going to be to try and use the rope caster to tie the Stormbird down 
and then just unload with this gun on it while it's this might even the odds okay we re we recovered the cannon Let's not lose this, though. Can I cross? Alright. We're gonna put the cannon here. And then we're going to try and bring this bird down here. God, it's so far. It's so high up. <laughs> How did I make this thing notice me like immediately before? I don't know, I was like just trying to climb up here in peace and then it noticed me and started getting angry at me. This thing's annoying. When I want its attention, it won't... I can't even whistle to call it down at me. I don't want to go so far that my gun despawns. God. Good thing these arrows here in particular are cheap to make. like if I go up here. Now I got its attention. Alright, the goal is to get get it with the rope caster. Is it too strong? I can't rope caster it? Why not? Then I want to equip my war bow. Which has the ice arrows. Uh, God.
I'm trying to hit those frost things. This is definitely doing it. <laughs> okay, yes. The Ravager Cannon was absolutely worth uh, trekking all the way up here. And now I have my trophies. It's a little, a little touch and go there, but we got it. Alright, so I can't fast travel to the lodge, which is a little sad, but we can head back to Meridian. I am curious to know what the real strategy is for taking those out without having to use a Ravager Cannon. But I think I've I've come to be quite reliant on the heavy weapons when I have to deal with big machines, because my weapons don't feel nearly sufficient. I think after this one, even if they give me a mission to go after Red Maw, I think I actually have to go do some main mission stuff because I promised that I would. I know that I have, uh, I said that I would and I'm now two hours into my stream and I still have yet to do a single main mission. I've just been doing side quests. But side quests are at least more productive than say, collecting cups and little horse statues from the tops of mountains. And there's still just a massive amount of soldiers here. Why? Alright, so deliver the trophies to Asis. Everyone needs a splash of color in their lives. Come, let's talk it over. 